This is a scenario about Earth I bet you've never thought of. This is the Caribbean Isles of Puerto Rico and Hispaniola, which is just the DR and Haiti combined. Based on this detailed underwater terrain map, it's quite clear that these islands are all part of one long underwater ridge and trench network, and the islands we see above are just two sections that happen to protrude above the water. So here's the scenario that you've never thought of. What if, in the past, this was the entirety of the Earth? Where the entire surface of the planet was nothing but water, and looked like this, and only Mount Everest on one side of the planet, and the Andes Mountains on the other side, slightly protruded out of the water. Guess what? That was not a picture of Neptune, that was actually a picture of the Earth as it is now, when viewed from the Pacific side. To bring this epic scenario to a crescendo, what if the mid-ocean Atlantic Ridge was just where the planet violently cracked open and pushed apart, permanently changing its geometric orientation, pushing all the continental landmass up out of the water, on the side where the Great Rift is situated. Which is the main reason why everything on the European side of the Atlantic fits perfectly with North America. And South America can fit so neat and snug in the arms of Africa. And is also the reason why the two highest mountain peaks on the planet both have fossils of whales, giant clams, seahorses, and other sea animals. Which was the real reason why biological life on this planet started out as aquatic, because Earth existed for a few billion years as an entirely water world. 